Welcome back, guys. So we're back at it once again with another Replitronics New Wave Toys mini arcade machine. This time, it's Dragon's Lair. We've looked at a few of these little machines before, the Street Fighter II one, the Tempest machine, and also their little coin changer USB hub, which I actually use quite often. I have all my wireless, like, 8-bit-do controllers being charged through that and my batteries for my GoPro that I use occasionally. So, yeah, I've been digging their products. I think they're pretty neat. Definitely a collectible type thing for that collector's market. One six scale is what this thing is. Get this box out of the way. Jeez. So here this is. This is the first time I'm opening this up. I haven't had a chance to take a look at this yet. I've had it for a few days. But here we go. Limited edition 12-inch PlayScale arcade machine. Looks, plays, and controls like the original Dragon Slayer. I remember Dragon's Lair in the arcade and Space Ace and stuff like, what was that one, like Time Warp or something? I can't remember what it was called. It was like a hologram game. They were spectacles. You've seen those in the arcades and you were like, what the heck is this? Looks like a cartoon or you got like real people in the hologram. Crazy stuff, man. Crazy stuff. This was definitely a, a big quarter muncher. I don't necessarily think Dragon's Lair is one of the greatest games of all time but it definitely has a big piece in video game history for its style, the way it played, just the big draw that it had in arcades back in the day. It's, it's, it's a fun game, but, you know, to each their own pretty much. Not everybody's going to really dig this game, but I know a lot of people who collect these things and definitely love this. What? HDT? I didn't even know that. Holy crap. So these guys, they did send this to me for purpose of review. And I was looking forward to it. It's been delayed a little while, but I finally got it, and here we are. Let me go ahead and uh, get this plastic off of here. Play some games here. I didn't know you could plug this into the, the TV. I did not know that. I don't think... Has any of the other ones they've made done that? I don't think so. Not any of the ones I've received. That's That's crazy. And interesting. I mean... <laughs> I know there's a lot of Dragon's Lair uh, fans out there who like to collect all this uh, stuff, but wow, let's uh, let's get into this, dude. This th their packaging is is really nice. Got to give them credit on on that. Give them credit where credits due. My my one thing when I first started do doing YouTube, one of the first videos that I did that like really hit was a video that had to do a Dragon's Lair. Actually, it was uh, for configuring the Daphne emulator on RetroPie. So that was one of my first uh, videos that did pretty well. That little Daphne sticker. What the heck? I'm, I'm going to be getting like a new... This table is all scratched to hell. I'm, I'm going to be getting a new table pretty soon. And it's going to be all white. And I'm going to put stickers all over it. This, this is definitely going to go on there. That's what I'm talking about. So here's... What do we got in here? Okay, here's, here's a little booklet explaining everything. Hints for gameplay. This like typed up like a old ass like 80s, 70s, 80s style manual. Pretty interesting. There you go. Very nice. Well, we got some more coins. I got a ton of these little coins. Let's get that up there. Up in your face. Look at that. Little tiny coins. Don't lose them. What else do we have? What is this? Is this like an... I don't know what this is, but you get something there. It's got like a little sticky pad, 3M sticky pad in the back. We'll find out, I guess. And what the hell is this thing? Laser disc. Oh my God, do I want to open this? It's like a little replica laser disc, but it's sealed. You know what? I don't care. We're going to open it. Oh, shit, I opened it, and you could actually slide it out right there. I'm an idiot. Fuck. Oh, oh well. Oh, well. My bad. My bad. My people would be like, I can't believe you did that. Little fake laser disc looking thing. <laughs> Just a piece of cardboard. Don't, don't cry. It's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. I know collectors, man. Like, oh, my God. You rip a package a little, a little too crazy. People get all over your case, man. Don't give me that crap. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be fine. Oh, shit. I just threw that. 
Now here's the uh, machine itself. Come on, come on, get, get the hell out of there. Anything else in here? No, not that I'm seeing. There's that. Let's go ahead and bust the seal on this little thing. You always got this little, like, coin door type thing that you can open. Pretty sweet. Let's zoom up a little bit. Look at that. Huh. Replitronics right there. Buttons. These feel like little, like, fake hap buttons. Actually, it doesn't feel, <laughs> doesn't feel too bad. They usually do a pretty good job. Let's get that off of there. It's a sticker in the back, too. Let me see if I can. There's a protector. Come on. We got we to gotta see the full thing here. You got the little player score in the back. Look at that. That's dope. Side art. Dragon's Lair. You got your HDMI. USB power charge. Oh, that's the, the charge volume power on. And then back here. Oh, snap. <laughs> okay, I, I remember seeing something about this. It's a little laser disc uh, module. Model three. That's <laughs> That's pretty cool. What is that? So I guess we put our little, oh shit. We put our little laser disc right there. Where'd I, where'd I put it? For display purposes, there you go. And then that little spot, what is that for? That's for this little remote. You just put it right there. Let's get that out of there. Okay, I lost that thing. Put that right there. I lost it again. Why did I do that? <laughs> I'll find it later. <laughs> That's pretty cool, man. You see the disc through the little window. There's the back. That's cool. Little 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 bonus. Little bonus feature. Just aesthetics doesn't really seem to do anything, but pretty neat. I was wondering because I know in the Street Fighter one, there's like a clear housing with the extra controller in there. Let's see if it's got some juice. Is the juice? Do we got juice? Yes, we do. All right, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta lower the camera angle here. Let's do it, dude. That screen is freaking nice. The little, the LED freaking score counter. Is it where we can like hold? One of these buttons to go into like a menu or something maybe oh yes if we hold uh player two let's 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 zoom up see what we got screen brightness you can go 255 the highest game audio replicator hdmi track mode on dirks per credit marquee on or off the marquee lights up. It's kind of bright in here, so you might not see it that well. But there you go, off and on. Difficulty level, joystick sound, screen blanking. Interesting. Oh shit, I went right into the fire. Oh my god. Oh crap. I, I always suck at this game, man. What, what was I supposed to do? Crap. <laughs> oh.
there's that. This is probably the nicest one they've produced so far. Player one score, you see that up there? That screen is nice, and the viewing angles are freaking solid, dude. Like, I, I'm giving them credit. This is the nicest one they've done so far. This is really legit. Speakers coming out from the back here. That's nice, guys. So I'll put a link in the description if you're interested. This cabinet is going for $119, I believe. And, you know, the, the wood construction, the metal parts, the tiny replica buttons and stick, everything is feeling nice. I know this is not for everybody, but there's definitely collectors out there that really love this kind of stuff. And I get it. This, this is neat right here. And you could plug it into your TV. But I wish it had, like, can you plug in another controller? I'm going to have to look into that. If you could plug this into like an HD TV using external USB controllers. It says it right there. Yes, you can. New Wave Toys mini fight pads and third party USB can be plugged in. Note that not all controllers are guaranteed to work. Press the start button on player two to start. A okay. They have all the uh, instructions there. That's cool. So you could plug this into your TV, play some Dragon's Lair. That's nice. That's really cool. So, hey, if you're interested, check it out. Really do appreciate you guys hanging out with me. Appreciate New Wave Toys for sending this on over for purpose of review. This is my favorite one so far. It's not even like my favorite game out of the ones that they've done. I just think the quality is so damn nice. This is <laughs> this is definitely a a win here for these guys. This is a really really nice machine. So, hey, really do appreciate you guys. Thanks for hanging out. Smash that like button. Slap it around like a little bitch it is. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. And I will catch you guys next time. Peace out. Bye-bye. And boom. Thumb butt. Bye.